Hello, thank you for watching our channel. Help us spread God's love by liking this video. Subscribe to continue learning more about God's love towards you. And don't forget to click the Q bell. Hello, I'm Sadie Lynn Ortiz. Welcome to God's Love Message. In the last eight weeks, we've been talking about trusting the Lord with relationships. Well, nothing brings people together like food, right? Today, I'm going to show you three things. How to clean, peel, and grill cactus or nopal. How to prepare carne asada. Yes, we're gonna be grilling today and I'm gonna show you how to prepare and grill it. And wait for it, there's one more. How to make my super delicious cream and guava pastry. Are you interested? Keep watching. So we are now in my kitchen and I'm ready to show you the prep to grill the carne asada. Are you ready? Let me show you the ingredients. You're gonna need steak seasoning, garlic powder, oregano powder, onion powder, minced garlic, avocado oil, apple cider vinegar, fresh squeezed lime, Himalayan salt. We are going to be blending all these ingredients together. So you're gonna need one cup of oil and the reason why is because I'm gonna use this to marinate the carne asada meat and also, that's about one cup. I'm gonna put the remainder in a cup, like about a quarter cup, and I'm gonna brush that to the nopales or the cactus. So I'm gonna have the seasoning powder I'll say one tablespoon. This is half a tablespoon. So I use one tablespoon. And then garlic, I'm gonna use half a tablespoon. I love oregano, so half a tablespoon of oregano. Half a tablespoon onion powder. one tablespoon, this is one tablespoon of minced garlic. It doesn't have to be exact. And then half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon. And then we're gonna have the lime, one tablespoon. And the seasoning already has some salt, but I put a little bit more, because sometimes you can't really taste it. So I'm gonna be blending all of this together, and I'll be right back. I just blended all of that together, and I'm gonna save a quarter cup. Oh, one third of a cup. <laughs> and then, like I said, we are going to pour it into the meat. And then you just make sure that everything gets nice and coated. Everything is gonna be nicely coated with the delicious marinade. And you can taste it. So you can tell if it needs more um, of the vinegar or more of the lime. And it's just gonna be delicious. And we're gonna let it sit for about 15 minutes while the grill uh, gets hot. And while the grill gets hot and this is marinating, I'm gonna be showing you how to clean, peel, and grill the nopales and we'll brush it with this sauce. So now I'm ready to show you the ingredients for my easy and delicious 
cream and guava pastry or pastelitos. Take a look. You need puff pastry sheets. The package comes with two. Then the, this is the guava paste. It's hardened and uh, they call it candy guava, but it's a, like a paste that is hardened. And then I have cream cheese. What I did was I pre-cut the paste and you're gonna see a, a picture that I, that I took earlier. So I, it comes to paste and then I sliced everything and it will be easier to put in the pastry. And then I cut, I grab one of these um, cream cheese, right? And then I cut it in half and there's, that's where you get half a cream cheese right there with the guava. I'm gonna be, I kinda wet my hands and kinda did this to the pastry dough, let it thaw out. Uh, I put it for 30 seconds in the microwave and I unfolded it and then I just put this so it wouldn't be dried out. So I'm gonna go with a pizza cutter here and then I'm gonna go, let me see how, like about one finger. So maybe we get three here. Eyeballing it, see? Okay, and I'm gonna do the same thing with this one once this one is over. So let's do one at a time. I'm gonna show you this. Because this one is gonna go here, see? And then, And we have egg wash. I forgot to mention the egg wash. And uh, egg wash is just an egg. You beat it and then just a little bit and use it as a glue, as a glue. Okay. And then you do the same to all of them. You can do it with your fingers, but I want to keep it even. See? And this is going to taste delicious. I love guava. I have a guava tree. So, but last time that I tried to do the guava paste from scratch, it was hours, 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 hours. And you had to have a lot, a lot of patience. So some people are better at that <laughs> to make the, the guava paste from scratch. And at the end of all of all that, it is really, for me, it's not worth it for me to make it from scratch because it's easier just to buy it a lot faster. So, I have this one here, and I'm gonna grab a fork. I'm gonna show you this one. You're kind of creating a design, but the whole point is not so much the design as much as it is closing it. See, so the air doesn't escape per se. See? See, that's pretty tight. See, like that. I just wanna show you. I'm gonna show you separate it right here and then just press it again to make sure it's closed. Okay, and then what you want to do is put egg wash on top and it's going to give it a sheen. You don't want to soak it, but just enough so it's nice and creamy.
crispy and shiny. I like shiny, bling bling. And when I cook, I don't want my rings, my jewelry. So, so I'm gonna be doing that to all of them. Do you wanna see another one? Let me show you another one. And I already have the oven going at 400 degrees. And we're gonna do this into golden brown. Around 15 to 20 minutes, depending on your oven. It will get close. <laughs> okay, and then you just do the same thing. And remember, I have another piece of pastry that I'm gonna put uh, the dough on the other side, right? Here. So I'm gonna cut more circles, but I find this to be easier. And there you have it. And then I'm gonna fill all of this and I'll show you the result. Here we go. We are about to grill our meat. It's been heating, it is hot, and the weather is hot too. So, this is gonna be super delicious when it's cooked. It's already nicely marinated. And once you leave it, leave it there. Don't be moving the meat. See, this is a big piece. Here we go. Oh, it's hot. I'm gonna continue putting the rest. Okay, let's see how our meat is doing. I like it well done. Okay, not moo, no. I like it well done. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, otherwise you won't have any eyebrows to wax. Who wants that? You're gonna have to pencil them in. After this, we'll put it on the plate ready to serve. Actually, we're gonna let it rest and ready to serve. We still have to do our cactus, our nopal. It's one minute left and they're looking so good. You hear that? It's ready. Do you hear that? I'm about to take them out. Okay, I'm ready to open. Are you ready to see how this delicious thing, oh, it smells so good, it smells so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Super delicious. Look at that. I'm gonna let it rest and then put a little bit of the finished thing that I'm gonna do on top. It's a surprise. We're gonna let it rest, so keep watching. Here we go. Ready? Oh yes, this is ready. Let me take this off, and then this off. I had to save this for my other video. And we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes. Yes, I have another video. It's called Mensaje de Amor de Dios. My other channel, Mensaje de Amor de Dios, if you wanna see it in Spanish. Are you enjoying the video so far? I'm gonna show you now the beautiful cactus. Why do I say beautiful cactus? Because it is from my own backyard. Yes, it's from my own backyard. So I'm gonna show you how to clean it, how to peel it. Why do I mean peel it? We're gonna take out the thorns. Yes, it has thorns. And also how to grill it. 
Okay, let me start. I'm gonna put a cardboard because it has thorns and it, they hurt. So I show you, I took a picture of, I bought three from the store and you can see a big difference between the store bought and the one from my house. You see the thorns are really big, the ones from my house and they're fresh. My husband just cut it for me yesterday morning. So um, you see how big they are? They hurt. And even after you pull it, you can get like a splinter type of thing. And that hurts. So you don't want to get, you know, injured. So I get a cardboard and let me cut it. Well, I want to be able to show you. So see, if I show you like that, you can't see it. And then like this is like this. And then all the way around, because the edges have the thorn too, see? So, believe me, you are gonna end up with some, but you don't wanna eat the thorns. And then here, because this one has a lot right here. And then, let me flip it, so I show you this side all the way around so obviously uh, it didn't cost me anything because it's from my backyard but at the store if you already bought it back it was I believe $2.99 if you bought it chopped it was also $2.99 if you bought it cleaned up semi clean up because they don't do as good as a job as you're gonna do at home uh, it cost me for three skinny ones cost me uh, 51 cents so from 2.99 from 51 cents doing it yourself to 2.99 big difference but of course if you have it at home I didn't have enough I only had two ready to eat so that's the reason I, I bought three so I can make um, a salad which I'll show you that also so and then I just cut see the thorns like that with the knife. But you wanna make sure you're holding it with something because even if you think, okay, let me put my finger here, you don't wanna be um, accidentally put your finger in the wrong spot. Some people are really fast with this. I've seen people um, doing it with a spoon, but I'm doing it with a serrated knife, you see? And you kinda like, Flip it, but just want to make sure that there's nothing. I like to do everything as unto the Lord, remember? As unto the Lord. So um, what I've seen at the store is like they only take out the tip and the rest of the thing is there. So basically that's what you're paying for. It's not the same, see? It's kind of like, you see how like this? They, that's the way that you'll find it at the store. But that's not, to me, that's not clean. If you're gonna pay $2.99, make sure it's 100% clean that it probably won't until you do it yourself. But, you know, it's one of those things. You know, some people don't care. And obviously they buy it at the store and people, they sell it at the store and people buy it. But it's no big deal to do it, look. You just have to, it's actually fun but I will not recommend be doing this with the kids because, you know, it's, it can be dangerous. But not because it's hard though, because you're just doing it. And then right here, I just take these three out, see? How do I find about this, the cardboards? Because I actually uh, asked a guy, he was buying some and I was buying, um, looking for them and then he was buying the one with the thorns and i'm thinking where are they where are they and then i said oh how do you peel this and then he was at the store just a customer and then he said oh you just got grab a cardboard and he had a cardboard with him at the store and then he says you just get a knife and peel it so i understood what he meant now that he showed me like i'm showing you see isn't it nice so that's one side see this is one side I'm gonna show you the, the rest. Okay, so I just rinsed this. I just rinsed it, literally just drop the water 
and then just rinse it really good. This feels like, uh, if you've never had it before, this is like okra. It's very slimy. So um, don't mind that. I've noticed that when you grill it, the sliminess is easier to go away, you know, than when you cook it any other way. But anyway, I just washed it, and then we're gonna dry it, okay? See? Okay. And then this is the remainder of the grilled marinade for the meat. And I like it because it has the, the steak seasoning, the garlic, the garlic powder, the lime, the, you know, you saw all the ingredients, right? So here we go. You just want to brush it. And rather than being just uh, plain, you know, it has all those nice ingredients. So it's gonna be really nice when you grill it. Cause it's gonna, it's just gonna be nice and taste good. See, and it's not complicated. It was easy, right? See, you got the sides and there you go. And it's as simple as that. I'm gonna finish this one up and then I'm gonna show it to you uh, when we put it in the grill. So you, I mentioned that two were out of my own tree and I bought three at the store because I didn't have enough. So the remainder of the, after spreading the remainder of the seasoning, the marinade, I had it here. So whatever I had left after brushing it, well, I dumped it, right? It was very little. And then I chopped the three that I had and um, what you're looking for, so we're gonna make a salad, okay? So you can see the ones that are cooked and the ones that are not. The ones that are not cooked, you see it's bright, still bright green, and the ones that are cooked are dark green. You see that, right? So it's almost done. And we're gonna let this um, continue cooking, not that much left, and cool. So while we're grilling, the, while the other one is uh, in the grill, we're doing this and then we're gonna let it cool cool down and then we're gonna make a salad this is gonna be nopales two ways or cacti cacti is two plural then um in a salad because the way i'm gonna do it you, you will see it it's gonna be so much fun i hope you're enjoying it because remember remember the whole point i am doing this is to bring family together right we have been talking for eight whole weeks about trusting the Lord with relationships. And what brings people together is food, right? Whether it's homeless, we go feed the homeless. Whether you bring people home in your family, somebody at work, you bring potluck, right? Um, or you buy something. Maybe you don't have time and you, maybe you just have $10 to buy pizza. And, um, but it brings family together. It brings co-workers together. It brings um, people in church, right? They have fellowship. Today's goal for me, the conclusion of trusting the Lord with relationship is to cook something for you so you can learn. So when you gather together with your family for Thanksgiving, Christmas, birthday party, potluck at the office for Christmas or whatever the occasion, you have something to bring. And it's very simple. Of course, I was very ambitious today in showing you how to prepare it, you know, how to clean, how to peel it, and how to grill it. And now I'm showing you how to do this part of the equation for the salad. But it's very simple. At the end of the day, I want you to know, I want you to know how much God loves you. This is about showing you how much God loves you. What? With a meal? Yes. Because you are never going to go without as long as God is in your heart. See, even if you say, oh, but I don't have Jesus in my heart. What are you waiting for? Ask him to come into your heart right now. And you're going to enjoy the meal even better. Because with Jesus, everything is super good. Now we are about to grill our delicious marinated nopales or cacti. Here we go. See how beautiful? And you wanna make sure you get the grill marks. I'll let you know when it's ready to flip. Okay, so 
I finished cooking this one. So it's ready to go. So now we're gonna assemble our salad of our grill, of our um, nopales, see? I'm gonna leave some for my other video, my Spanish video. But basically, you are just going to assemble. We're gonna have, we have tomato, red onion, cucumber, I know, I added that, this is my own doing. Cucumber, cilantro, we have uh, fresh lime juice, and some salt. Um, it already has some salt in it because of the seasoning, but um, for my taste, it needs a little bit more. So, and you put as much as you want. I like tomato, so there's some tomato. Onion, and these are chopped very fine. I like everything chopped very um, perfect. Okay. And then cucumber, maybe let's put half of this. Lots of cilantro. Oh, it's so aromatic. Wonderful. And then some um, lime juice, a little bit more lime juice. You know how I love lime, lemon. Okay, and a little bit more salt. Let me do it with this one. And that's it. It is a very refreshing salad, uh, cactus salad, and very simple to make. And, um, so this will be, and I'll show you the finished product at the end where I put everything that we cooked today. And you can make it yourself. I made everything today. So today is a Saturday. It's Saturday, so normally Saturday is the day that I choose to record. And my husband is about to come home. So see, the food is already ready. This is a good recording because there's food. <laughs> so. And always don't forget to taste your food to make sure it has enough seasoning, okay? Let's take, give it a taste. Mmm, I am good, huh? On point, super delicious. Next, you will see the finished product. Okay, we're about to remove the cactus or the nopal from the grill. See, beautiful. Beautiful, and that's what you're looking for, okay? Let me take this one out. You can tell it's done because it's really soft, see? soft and you don't want it burned but that's good I'll see you inside when we put it all together as I assemble our delicious food from today okay so let's start the assembly in putting our doing our plating putting all the food that we delicious food that we cook today and these are uh, grilled nopal this is my organic one from home right and then the grilled meat, carne asada, our delicious salad, and also our uh, cream and guava pastry, okay? So, I wanted to do the nopal in two different ways to serve it to my husband. He's actually just got here. You may hear the door. So, here's our nopal. This is a, the presentation. And then, let me cut the meat here. Actually, let me cut it here. This is my plate. So, and you want to cut it against it. See, the lines are going this way, so you want to cut it against it like this. Okay, and then you can see it's well done, but it's still uh, soft, okay? Obviously, I'm cutting it in the plate in my plate this is gonna be my plate but i just want to make the other plate pretty for my husband you're gonna see how i put it together i'm gonna put it 
right here on one side, the one corner. He's here. Let me put it together. And then the delicious salad. We have the grilled cactus and then our delicious salad right here. You see? So as he eats it, he's gonna get a little bit of everything. You see? And this is our delicious plate, okay? And then for dessert, we have our cream and guava pastelitos or pastry, okay? And that's his dessert. So with a cup of coffee, it is a delicious meal. You see, very healthy and everything was cooked at home. So as we put it together, you can see that it is very easy to trust God with relationships, especially when you have delicious food. So remember, you are loved, you are needed, you are wanted, you are a masterpiece.